Hi hey everyone. Um, it's 11.33 in the evening on the 20th of February 2024. Um, I've had like the best day ever and then the worst evening ever. And again, <clears throat> from my point of view, it's a miscommunication. It's something like, I don't know, texting and, and bullshit, but I don't want to go into it now because honestly what's happened over something, in my opinion, that was so simple and normal um, and will be talked about in therapy once I ring my therapist tomorrow and ask to be put on a cancellation list for the next emergency appointment because, you know, what some people think is just a boundary is more like a like the number one thing I need in my life more than anything in the entire world is clarity so if I ask someone and it is my sister a question which to me just makes perfect sense and I get a no answer with an answer that doesn't make sense so I clarify and I get a no again and I'm like like do, just clarifying, like, do you, do you realize I'm asking you for help? Yeah. And, and this, you know, and it's just, I get, I get told that I'm causing stress and overwhelm because I won't accept the no and that she can never say anything because it's always wrong. And I'm like, it's not that I don't accept the no, I don't understand the explanation. And basically what it is, is they're going away, um, like on a road trip camping thing, like, you know, they've got all the ways to do it, but they've got a beautiful house in the fucking country with a spa, and I was like, can we have boss come up and help her? And I was like, that way the dog doesn't have to go to the kennels, and my sister responds with, it's already set, you know, we've got credit, it's already done, don't worry about it. And I'm like, well, okay, the dog can go to the kennels if that's the case. But, you know, still, like, I'm I'm not really a house sitter, I'm your, I'm your sister. Like, it'd be doing me a world of good, like, literally to spend, you know, a few days away in, in the country in the fresh air where I can relax in a spa. And again, it was just no. And I was like... I, I don't understand and I was like you know is it is it a, do you not trust me and she said no it's not that and I'm like well I'm, I'm asking for help and I'm the bad person and it's once again blown up and I just feel like this it's never gonna work with my family I love them to absolute pieces but like my sister it, it, I feel like I'm the only one that does any work to try and help our relationship and it's just fucking breaking me. I've already cried my freaking eyes out. <laughs> so I'm going to be in because I'm just like, what the fuck has happened? Like, I asked a normal fucking question. Like, people hire out their homes to complete strangers. I was like... All the stuff is locked up that you're talking about. I'm like, would be better off with someone there. Like, I'm this, I'm her sister, and 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 you know, if she would just say, "Liv, I don't want you in my house for whatever the fuck reason," at least I'd know. And I personally think it's cruel to just be like, no, and accept it, and be like. obviously I need therapy but truthfully I very much think my sister does too you know she truly believes she's got you know some of the stuff I've got needs to be diagnosed with the medication that I take and um therefore needs to find a doctor or pay you know I've said to her I'll, I'll tell my freaking psychiatrist and send you all the details they're like <sighs> I'm working on me and I'm doing my absolute best and it's like one fucking thing and immediately I'm the bad guy. I'm the 
just brings me absolutely crashing down to the point where I'm ready to Google, like, I don't even know if I have to, I, I could go into my YouTube account and change the setting from public to private and literally just close everything the fuck down. Same with the website. And I'm like this fucking close to doing it, if I'm honest, because that's about how fucking useful I feel in this fucking planet when I cannot even have a conversation with my sister without it going insane. And if I can't talk to her, I probably shouldn't be talking to any of you because seriously, what the fuck do I know? Yeah, so, I don't know. If I literally disappear, just know that I guess I'm okay. But if I do disappear, um, I'll probably come back. Like, I, I do want to go on my own road trip and I want to get better fucking way to like film things and one of the GoPros and do all of that. But as it stands, Every single part of me wants to disappear. And I've talked for longer than I honestly thought I would and I just fucking need to just upload this and go to sleep because I've just had enough of reality. I've had enough of trying. I've had enough of never, ever, ever, ever feeling like I'm going to be good enough, especially for my family. And, um, in all honesty, it's the kids that I will be the most devastated about. I love my sister, but I'm absolutely fucking sick and tired of taking everybody's fucking crack because, you know, I'm mentally ill. Well, guess what? I'm not the only one that lived through what I lived through. My sister and brother got bullshit too, yeah? Anyway, I need to go to sleep. And I did remember, right before I picked up the camera, that at least I bought a new eye mask. And I'm very happy about that because <clears throat> all the ones I've got are too big. Um, yes, I'm aware the lighting is shit. I don't truthfully give a crap, gonna be honest. Um, but yeah, that is where I'm at. I'm just blah, 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 right? So, yeah. I was going to say check in tomorrow, but like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Just don't please all freak out if I disappear for a while, okay? Um, I'll post like a public post once in a while like a text thing if I do keep you updated um but yeah I'm out good night